Hello once again, my fellow Star Trek fans. I welcome you to another Star Trek video. Today, as usual, well, not as usual, but most of my videos, Star Trek related, Star Trek the original series, and today is no exception. Um, I want to do a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a history lesson and a little bit of a show and tell for you guys. I want to talk about Space Station K7. We were introduced to Space Station K7. Um, I think it was season two. We had the trouble with Tribbles. And the Enterprise crew was sent to guard Grain or Quattro Triticale uh, for Sherman's planet. And because of the urgency and the delicacy of the mission, um, it was deemed priority one. That is why the beginning of the episode, a distress signal priority one distress signal is sent to the Enterprise and of course Captain Kirk is furious when he gets to the space station there's no attack or anything and they come to find out that he needs to guard the Quattro Triticale but we're introduced to little creatures known as Tribbles and of course all of this takes place on the space station K7 so when it comes to the model kit of the space station. What I'm showing you right now is the collector's tin. And you can see bonus trouble is included. This is K7 space station featuring um, featuring retro style packaging. And you can see depiction of the USS Enterprise in orbit. So the space station itself is it's pretty basic, um, but it is cool. You gotta admit, it's cool because it's from Star Trek. And when we look at the box, again, the whole model kit is located and shipped in a, a tin. It's kind of like the, well, the only way I can describe it is, you know those, those butter cookies at Christmas time that, you know, maybe the good ones are like the pretzels and not a, the rest of them won't really get eaten. Well, this is kind of like that tin. And this is the collector's edition. And this is from AMT, plastic model kit. Of course, AMT being bought by round two models. And this is Star Trek, the original episode, K7. You look at the side of the box, you can see a picture of Captain Kirk holding the Tribble. This one. He had the uh, the door open, and instead of green, all the tribbles came out. You can see the same depiction that's on the front, and we have information for the level two Star Trek.com, round two models.com, and this was released in 2010. Looking at the ends of the box, this is kit number AMT six. Four five K seven space station plastic model kit. And let's see the other side. AMT. And let's see, we have the same picture of Captain Kirk, and we have the features 15 inches wide with clear parts, decal sheet, and base with metal support rod from round two models about South Bend, Indiana. So, I want to do a short presentation on this model kit for you guys, and I'll be right back. AMT Star Trek K7 Space Station Model Kit. This kit was originally released in 1976. It would be new tooling, and the kit number would actually be S955. The front of the box would have a finished model of the K7 space station and it would have a depiction of the Enterprise in the background and the space background as well. This kit would be released in 1976 initially and again in 1979 when Lesney purchased AMT and it would have the matchbox name on it. It would then be dormant until 2010. By this time, AMT had been purchased by Round 2 
and it had re-released many kits. Many old Star Trek kits were re-released. The K-7 space station model kit would be released and then a special edition um, or a special version of the kit would be released in a metal tin. The model kit itself was based on the episode The Trouble with Tribbles. This was from Star Trek, the original series. And it was from season two, and it was episode 15. The episode was directed by Joseph Pevney, and it was written by David Gerald. It premiered on December 29th, 1967. The guest stars were William Shallert, which would be Undersecretary Nils Barris, William Campbell as Captain Cullof, and if that name sounds familiar, then it should to Star Trek fans because William Campbell was also General Trelane, the Squire of Gothos. Stanley Adams would play Cyrano Jones, Whit Bissell would be the station manager, Lurry, and the evil undercover Klingon, Korax, was played by Michael Pataki. The re-release of the space station under the Round 2 Model Corporation would get different model numbers. The box would be AMT-644 and the collector tin would be AMT-645. Although the instruction sheet would be the same. The miniature USS Enterprise spaceship would be included, the AMT kit. The Enterprise uh, would consist of the main fuselage, power units and struts, the main hull, and a small stand. We'd have to remove the plastic bar between the two nacelles because of the size. The assembly one would be the main housing. You'd have the antenna, and then you'd have the tower, which would be clear plastic, and then the upper and lower housings would be put together. That would go on to an arm the extension tower three um, would be put onto a different one. The extension lights would be clear and there would be an arm. This would be done three times. All three arms would be put into a main body upper and a main body lower. Um, an extension locating ring would also be in between the two. The docking port for the upper part and the docking port of the lower would join together um, for the space station. The assembled main housing would be put on top. All the arms would come together and the docking port section would go on the bottom. The re-release of the model by Round 2 Corporation would also come with upgraded decals and paint instructions. As an added bonus, new decals were included, AMT's latest re-release of the K-7 space station. However, decoration instructions were not included in an effort to make the instruction sheet reminiscent of the kit's original release. These instructions can be used as a guide to decorating the kit with paint and decals. Note, due to production error, some decal sheets were released without the decals being properly divided. When using decal number seven, while well, the alternate numbers and letters, the decals will need to be further divided as indicated by the dotted lines. And the instruction sheet for the updated version shows you the different colors to be used. Light ghost gray, dark ghost gray, blue angel blue, flat white, flat red, flat Barrett green. All right, so showing you the box a little bit I'm showing you the front i'm showing you the sides let's take a look at the back you can see again it's got that picture of the space station troubled and it's got some information on the back klingons quattro triticale and tribbles if not for the quick thinking of timely actions of the crew of the uss enterprise this quirky trio of ingredients would surely have been a recipe for disaster on a galactic scale. This highly entertaining misadventure came together aboard the deep space station K-7 in the classic Star Trek episode, The Trouble with Tribbles. 
The K-7 space station features a central hub consisting mainly of storage areas and industrial fabrication facilities, along with a conned hangar deck, a connected hangar deck. Three disc-shaped living quarters are linked to the central structure via, via cylindrical passageways. This classic model kit is finally available again after a 30-year absence, created using the original tooling. Fully assembled K7 measures 15 inches wide and 7 inches high. Kit includes a miniature Enterprise approximately 1.5 inches long. Display stand, decals, and instructions is, are included. Kit is molded in gray and clear plastic with black display stand with metal support rod. Get that kind of polar lights kind of um, support rod base. See the bottom, round two models, and the miniature Enterprise. This one is even smaller than the 2500 uh, scale. This was probably, ooh, 1 3000, a 13500, a 3200 scale, somewhere around there. You can see the, uh, we got a bonus triple included in this kit. Now this, where they did the um, the original long box. And let me show you an older kit of this. Unfortunately, this is, um, well, this is not really older, but the packaging, um, the original kind of box art, got the AMT, you got the silhouette of the Enterprise going across the top, plastic unassembled hobby kit. And in this one, you can see Space Station, K-7 Space Station. Um, let's see, what does that say? Available, available again for the first time in over 30 years. You can see miniature Starship Enterprise spaceship included. And let's move this for a minute. You can see this one has uh, the kind of original box art. The Deep Space Station K-7, an immense complex serving the Federation as a combination space, motel, trading post, recreation center, was the setting for Star Trek's memorable episode, The Trouble with Tribbles. The show centers on a Tribble, a lovable, prolific, prolific handful of fur, which threatens to devour the station's precious cargo of Quattro Triticale, an earth grain destined for Sherman's planet. All ends well after Captain Kirk and the crew of the USS Enterprise have a lively encounter with the Klingons and resolve their threat to the Federation's development project. This again was released in 2010. You can see it has the, um, let me get this one out of the way. It has the space station diagram, miniature USS Enterprise spaceship included, assemble Assembled model measures over 12 inches in diameter. And again, it's, it's the same mold, the same kit. It's just different uh, measurements because didn't this one just say 15 inches? Let's see. Yep, 15 inches wide. And this one says 12 inches wide, but rest assured it's the same molding. And the back of this box has the, uh, the backing as well. Shows a space station, troubled. Let's see, and I do believe it's the same wording. Klingons, Quattro, Triticale, and Tribbles. Yep, it's the same wording that's on the back of the collector's tin. So this box was an effort to get it back to the original box. And this is AMT kit number 644. And as a little bonus, in 2010, they also released the Collector Tin. Now, they have the Collector Tin in the Enterprise as well, as well as the um, Klingon D7 Battlecruiser. And that's actually going to be a pretty good uh, video. I'm going to show you guys the tins that I have. I have Space Station K7. I've got the Klingon D7 Battlecruiser, and I've got the USS Enterprise. Um, so that'd be a good little 
video showing you all the collector tins, but this is Space Station K7. I had wanted to do a little uh, review of these for you, just to show you, talk about them. And again, this, these are the new ones that, well, this was as 2010, as recent as that release. So, we got to explore Space Station K7. Um, you guys learned about the model kit itself. And I hope you enjoy this quick little video, my friends, on this wonderful model, wonderful AMT Star Trek model. And until the next video, I'll talk to you very soon. Be careful and guard your Quattro Triticale, especially if you have a pet triple.